Hey, 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 guys. It's me. Sorry. Um, it is... Oh, well, technically, it's Thursday now, but I was going to say it was hump day night. Um, so, you know, I had appointments uh, today, Wednesday afternoon. And um, about lunchtime, maybe a little after... I was getting ready to have some lunch. I had gone back to the room for my morning appointments and I got a phone call and it was my neuro-oncologist office and they're like, hey, all your labs and your test results and stuff have already come back. They've come back early. If you want to go ahead and come upstairs, um, you know, you're more than welcome to instead of having to wait, you know, till later this afternoon and then you're free with us. And I was like, hell to the yes, because originally we weren't supposed to come home till Thursday, well, which now is technically Thursday because it's like, I don't know, almost one o'clock in the morning. Um, and so I was like, absolutely. Because remember, I have to be back again at MD Anderson Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the 6th, 7th, and 8th of next week. And so um, I was like, hell yes, you don't have to tell me twice. And so um, went upstairs, did my appointment and everything. And it went really pretty good. Um, I just met with a nurse practitioner today. She went over all my labs and everything with me. And um, <clears throat> she said that like a lot of my stuff had, uh, well, almost everything that was low had dropped a little bit lower and everything that was high had gone a little bit higher. Um, but she said overall everything was good. Um, I've only been on chemo a week, so of course it isn't anything that's jeopardizing having to pause or stop chemo, especially not now. Um, you know, wanted to know how I had been feeling. I told her, you know, really pretty good for the most part. The most things so far is I've just been extra, extra, extra tired. Um, but that as far as the nausea and vomiting, that, um, it was really doing pretty good, actually. And so, um, she said that, you know, we'll just keep an eye on things, um, you know, how they are. She said on a good note, she said, you're eating more and eating better. She said, because your weight is a little up. Um, I was 108 today, y'all. That was with all my clothes, my jacket, my shoes, everything on. But still, I'll take it. And um, she said that the one thing that, that was positive was that um, my protein levels actually had gone up and were really, really good because my protein is always way low. And so um, that and my kidney function, because you only have one kidney, is doing really good so far. But granted, it's only been a week, and so they let me know that you know, my appointments and my labs and my exams and my tests at, you know, one week after chemo and then four or five weeks after chemo is going to be a different story. But I'm like, please, y'all don't know who you're messing with. I got this. <laughs> but um, anyways, I was just happy to be able to go home. So uh, mom actually is feeling better today, um, more back to normal. But she did make an appointment with the doctor to see what's going on. So just to make sure everything's okay. But I told her, I was like, you know, I know you would probably wouldn't mind staying what, get monkey? Monkey. See, you got your baby. Oh, him has his baby. Oh, mate biscuits holding your baby. <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. I just love my baby. But, um, <clears throat> what? But anyway, so, um, um, you know, mom was all, you know, relaxed and trying to recover from being sick and not feeling good yesterday and all night last night. But I was like, even if I have to drive, like, let's please, let's go home. I don't want to, you know, basically stay another night just to stay in the hotel and do nothing. It's not going to be anything planned. Since my doctor's appointments were done, I was ripped to go, Hunter. And so we threw everything together real fast, did a late checkout. And um, we hit the road, Jack. And then we stopped in Huntsville um, at this cute little place called uh, the Farmhouse Cafe and Bakery and had lunch. And I didn't feel too good. And like I said, I was just really, really tired from my appointments and just traveling. And so I all I ordered was a small dinner salad and um, <clears throat> ate most of that and a piece of cornbread. But <clears throat> And then uh, actually I drove from Houston to Huntsville. <clears throat> but I told mom, I said, you're, you're going to have to drive the rest of the way home, which she, of course she didn't care. Um, she, 
Yeah, she had offered to drive from the hotel, but I was like, no, I got it. I feel okay. I'll let you know when I'm tired. Um, but so, like I said, so today is technically Thursday. So I'll be home Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So five days. And then go back Tuesday. We have to leave really early Tuesday morning because I have an appointment that afternoon. Um, and then uh, I'll be in a lab all day Wednesday, the 7th. And it's one of my long days where they're going to draw blood, you know, hour one, two, three, four, six, eight, and ten. And then um, on Wednesday the 8th at 6.45, I have an ultrasound on the lump on my thyroid. And um, a possible biopsy, just depending upon what they see. So, but it's going to be a long couple of days, that's for sure. And, but the good thing is that Molly is, um, my oldest is going to go with us. And I know I've probably said that a million times. I don't mean to repeat myself, but, um, I'm sorry, my glasses. But, um, anyways, and so, um, yeah. So that'll be really good. That'll be fun to have her. I wish Madison could go, but she's always so busy with work and she's just in a position. You know, where she just unfortunately is really, really in demand in her position. So, but, um, anyway, so, yeah, I am just so happy to be home. Because, like I said, normally right now we would be sleeping at the hotel. At the hotel, motel, holiday inn. I'm just kidding, y'all. Um, it's not a motel, it's not a holiday inn. Nothing wrong with those. I'm just saying. I'm singing the song. <laughs> but, um... Anyway, so yeah, I was glad to hear that my labs and everything are doing good. So, um, but yeah, the exhaustion and the fatigue is just way, way bad. So, like I said, I do like one little thing and it just makes me really, really tired. So, but, and I'm really tired right now. So, I'm fixed to go to bed and, um, I feel like there's something else I was going to tell y'all. <clears throat> but I don't know what it was, so it couldn't have been that important. Other than I love you guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so hopefully my labs will keep staying strong and holding up and doing good. So, when I did... Ke chemo. Jeez, my um, last time, um, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, when I did chemo last time, I was just like sick all the time. So, um, it sucked. <laughs> That's all there is to it. But so. You know, I'll take a little bit of sick and a lot of tired any day. But, um, I still feel like there's something I'm forgetting to tell y'all. I don't know. But anyways, so. What that cute what did that mommy's baby? Oh, that mommy's baby boy. Okay. Says, oh, he gonna lay down. You gonna lay down. Make those biscuits, Bunkin. Make those biscuits. But anyways, but yeah, so looks that's that. Um, I'm just really tired, so I'm gonna call it a night and go to sleep. But um, I will keep you guys posted. Like I said, everything's doing great so far. Numbers are staying good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll throw your baby down then. That's fine. <laughs> but, um, what's the matter, baby? Bunky, what you doing? He doesn't care. I always miss my babies when I'm gone. But, um, but yeah, so my nurse was like, boy, you're just making this easy today. Cause she's like, any new symptoms? I'm like, nope. She's like, you handling chemo good? Yep. You handling everything well? Yep. Nope. Yep. <laughs> She was like, awesome. So it literally was like a five-minute visit, probably not even that. And she was like, all right, you're free to go. 
I'll see you next week. And I'm like, okay, sounds good. So, um, and then after next Wednesday, I think, no, Thursday, yeah, I don't, there we go, my words, y'all, um, after next Thursday, I don't have to be back for like 12 days or something like that. April 21st and 22nd, I'm pretty sure, are the days. But um, they've already um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just my, I'm starting to have a hard time with my words and stuff so and it doesn't help that I'm getting tired but um anyway so that's that uh but yeah everything's good <laughs> bottom line everything's good numbers are good we'll check back in a week um and then even oh so I don't have to go back to like the 21st the 22nd and then after that I don't have to go back until the end of towards the end of May, like the third week of May or something like that. So that will be so possible. Um, but, uh, and then any of the labs that we need done in between then, they're going to do, um, I, it says labs can be per performed locally. So that means that I'll, you know, turn around and, I mean, I don't know, y'all. Tonight's a bad word for my, I mean, a bad night for my speech and things like that. Like I said, and me being tired is not helping the fatigue and things like that. So, but it sucks, but I'm hanging in there. So, but um, I love you guys as always. And I pray for you guys as always. And, um, yeah. Those of you that I haven't talked to in a couple of weeks on the phone, I just want you to know that um, I love you, and I pray for y'all. I pray for you, and um, I'm, I'm always here if you need anything. So, you know who I'm talking to? Okay. <laughs> oh, <crrr. laughs> but anyway, so yeah. But uh, I'm gonna go, guys, because like I said, I'm I'm exhausted and I've got to catch up on sleep. I didn't sleep good in the hotel last night. And I, in fact, I woke up, I sat straight up in bed and got sick and tried to catch it. Oh, it was it was a bad night last night. So, but that's okay. So, but anyways, but sorry, this video has been kind of wonky. Like I said, it's just all the travel and especially over the last couple of weeks it's just like catching up to my body and my brain and it's just it's really really hard on me um i was so glad even though my mom didn't feel good i was so glad to have my mother with me yes i was glad to have my mommy with me um she makes me feel better and she keeps me company and so um it was just such a tremendous blessing to have her be able to go and then The fact that um, Molly is going to be able to go next time uh, is even more awesome. So, I'm super excited for that. But, yeah. So, I've got to get some sleep. Like I said, I've got to let my body rest. That's for sure. So, I'm going to be turning my phone off um, just so I don't hear anything. But, like I said... Y'all have a beautiful and blessed night, and I'm going to bed now because I'm poop. My body's like on the verge of a physical breakdown, <laughs> I guess. I don't know the best way to put it, so, but I've got to just, I've got to let it rest. In fact, I probably, honestly, I probably need to spend the next couple of days in bed not doing anything. That's really what I probably ought to do, but that's very hard for
for me to do because I'm just up, 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 up. Do, 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 go, 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 clean, 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 all that junk. So, anyways, but, okay, I'm done rambling. I'm going to go to sleep. Love you guys. Night, night. Sleep tight. Sweet dreams. Don't let the big bugs bite. And I'll see you in the morning. Bye. <laughs>